Hey guys, this is Vic from Falcon PV. What we're going to show you today is uh, a series of steps to diagnose uh, what the issue is when your scooter is not charging. Right, so you know, most likely um, straight away some people would think, oh, the charger is a problem. But very often we find that you know it's more than just a charger, right? Charger would comprise maybe 70% of the time, but that's 30% of the time, you know, it really isn't the charger problem, right? So before we jump into um, into that, right, we just have to do a step-by-step -step diagnostics of um, what's causing your scooter to uh, not charge. Plug it in, turn on your, wash your power strip. If you see a green light here, then you are all good, right? That means the connection from um, the outlet to this plug here all the way to the charger it's good right everything is working your charger is most likely in good condition now if you do not see an led light here right try changing out the wall outlet to a different outlet right making sure at the same time right your plug is fully plugged in now if it's still not showing any light here then your charger needs to be changed right so that's 70 percent of the time now, if it's still not charging, so your charger is okay, right? Let's go to the other end of the charging uh, chain and look at your scooter, right? Your scooter has the battery and the charging port here. Now, if it's something like this, where the charging port is loose, then it could be a broken connection inside, uh, loose wire, uh, could be anything, right? So tighten up this uh, charging port because you don't want any uh, short circuits. Also, the battery could be the issue, where the battery is not, may not be taking on any charge. It could be that the battery is under voltage, meaning there is a certain voltage that this charger can charge to. Um, and if that voltage falls below a certain threshold, this charger will not be able to uh, charge the battery. So this battery inside, who knows, right? It could be... Uh, below that threshold, in which case you have to watch our other video to, you know, figure out how to recover that battery. Now, so you're gonna plug it, plug it in, right? So once you plug in, the LED here should turn red, and if it doesn't turn red, like in this case, it stays green. But what you gotta do, right? Now we're gonna te we're testing on the zero nine today. It's a forty eight volt battery. Now this 48 volt battery has gone to sleep. It's not charging. It's not taking on any charge. Now we used a 52 volt charger, right? Which tops out at 58.8 volts. You can see here, a 48 volt back, uh, 48 volt charger tops out at 54 volts, right? So this is uh, a much uh, higher voltage charger. So we're gonna use this high voltage charger, right? And plug it in. Don't worry, there is overcharge protection so on the battery, on the BMS itself. So don't worry, just go ahead and plug it in, right? Then you see that the LED has turned red. The moment it turns red, plug it out, right? Don't leave it on charge for too long because you don't want to overcharge the batteries. The moment it turns red here on the LED, use the original 42 volt charger and plug it into the sorry 48 volt charge use the original 48 volt charger and plug it back into the scooter now that's a way one of the ways to wake up the battery it's not the only way and it's not the foolproof way but this is one of the ways so there you go